All right, so here's a quick walkthrough of moving um, the funnel over from ClickFunnels to Go High Level. So I'm logged in here to ClickFunnels, and I'm here under All Funnels. Uh, the funnel we're gonna move over um, is this seven day lunch offer, Momentum Planner. So we'll just go in here to pull the funnel up. So there are seven pages or seven steps in here. Uh, that we'll bring over. So first we'll go over to um, Go High Level. So I'm logged in here to Go High Level, but I'll go back to what you see when you log in. Typically it starts out um, with the agency dashboard view here. So what you wanna do is just switch over to um, the Simple Operations sub account. Just click here and that'll bring you over to the sub account. And then we wanna go down to um, sites here and under funnels we want to create uh typically what we can do is just create a new folder for this we can just call this momentum planner so any momentum planner funnels that we create we can just add them under here so we know cool so i'll create the folder here and then let's go into this folder and we want to add a new funnel so we just got a new funnel and then uh, we can just call it the same name um, as the funnel that we have here. Um, so I'll just grab that and then create funnel. And then the next thing we want to do is is um, we can just check all the settings here. And there's no domain name that we want to set for now. Um, we'll set that later, but we can just grab, um, make sure the path matches the same, uh, which it is. We can just grab the rest of the stuff here. Um, this URL, obviously this is coming from um, ClickFunnels. So what we wanna do is, is just grab, let me just add this media file here. I'll just save it. That way is hosted in Go High Level. And then there is a media section here. We'll just open the library here. Actually, let's just use the uh, Simple Operations logo since we're um, updating it. We can just grab this one here. And then I'll just right click to get the link. And then we'll go back. And then let's just go back one more we need to go back to our funnel just go over here to settings we'll drop that URL there so now we're set is in uh, go high level and not click funnels and then we can just grab all of this code here drop that there and then we'll grab the body tracking code as well and drag that there and then that's it uh, as far as settings and stuff for now now we just want to go and add the steps so I'll just do the first one so we'll grab it and then let's just go back here to click funnels and then we'll just go here to publishing that's what we want to do to grab all the info so we'll just grab the funnel step name and we'll keep the path the same as well. That way when we bring the domain name over, it will all um, stay the same. So we'll put that there. And then the next thing we wanna do is we want to go back to overview. And then we want to grab this domain name here and drop that there to import from ClickFunnels. Get rid of that space. We confirm we do have permission and then create funnel step. And then we'll give it a little second. All right, perfect. Then it will bring everything over. It will import it in automatically. Um, what we wanna do now is just make sure, I would just review each step with the 
funnel page here in ClickFunnels and just make sure that you know none of the formatting um, or anything major looks off. For the most part, it imports really good. Um, so if there's any tweaks or anything that we need to update, we'll update. Um, like this is off, so we'd update this. And then just double check on mobile that everything looks um, good and correct as well. So looks like everything came over successfully besides that footer page, which we'll just update to match what's in ClickFunnels. And then that's it, you just save it. And we'll go back. Cool, and just you can just add the rest of the steps um, here and uh, and here and go high level, and then that's it. Um, as far as the automations and all that stuff, we'll set up later. But for now, we we'll just bring the funnel over, make sure that the layout and stuff looks okay, um, and then we're good. Let me know if you have any questions.